This message is for the victims. This message is for the those those people who are who are victims of narcissist abuse. Narcissist abuse. This is what this this is a word I believe the Lord wants to I I've come on here the Lord wants me to share. The Lord wants you to know to you victims to those of you out there who have suffered under narcissistic abuse, whether it be you know, parents, husband, wife, whatever whoever, go work it. The Lord says, I want you to I want you to hear this. The Lord says, I, I have seen all they have done to you. Says my people. My, my says says the Lord. My children. I have seen how they have treated you. And it pains me, says the Lord. It hurts me, says the Lord. I have given these individuals, these I've give I've to the, to the people who are narcissists, the narcissist abusers, I have given you I have given you grace and mercy, a chance to repent. But if you don't hearken to me, says the Lord, I will expose you. You I will expose you if you don't repent of your sins, says the Lord. I am a God of mercy, but I am also a God of just judgment and justice. I see everything that goes on in this world, and I see you. Nothing is hidden from my eyes, says the Lord. And my child, I want to say to you, my dear, my, my dear, to the to you, son or daughter of God, that's been a victim of narcissistic abuse, narcissistic abuse, you are not alone. God sees you. God is going to restore you. God is going to, God is going to bring you out of that situation. These people don't ignore the red flags that you see in people. When you, don't be no, don't ignore people's obvious red flags. Believe them for who they are. If you if you see a red flag in people, they're showing you the true colors. Okay, but one of the mistakes that people, one of the mistakes that we we as Christians, especially Christians who are sensitive, want to make is we want to believe that everybody is good. That's a lie. That's not true. Not, not everyone has got good good. And there are people that I don't want you to be around because the because this is the reason why they have you they have hurt you, my children. And I'm going and I'm going to bring you out of it. I'm going I I'm going to bring you out of it, says the Lord. I have seen your tears, I've seen your cries, I've seen your I've seen how they mishandled you, I've seen how they treated you. And I and I am, but I just want to say the Lord says I am proud of you for making this far. I'm proud of you because you have grown so much. And the Lord says I'm going to bring you out of that. I'm going to reward you for your faithfulness. And to the narcissistic abusers, I'm going to say to you, God has given extended mercy and grace to you, but you have rejected, you have denied. So the Lord says I will bring you down. I, my judgment will be when I when my judgment falls upon you, there will be no one you can run to. There will be no one. There will be no one you can run to. There will be no one you can run to, to hide. Because I will, I I will expose that mask. I will rip that mask off of you and I show the people who you are, truly are. You, and to you, I want to say. You are the you are the son you are the children of your father the devil. If you, those of you who refuse to repent, those of you who are narcissistic abusers, you are children of your father the devil. And the Lord has the Lord has time and time again offered you grace and mercy, but you spat in his face, you've spit in his face, you've mocked him, you cur cursed him. But the Lord says, I will cut you off. To those of you, to those you, the children of the devil, I will cut you off. Your time is short on this earth. My, your, you answer to me, says the Lord. You will answer to me, says the Lord. And I have recorded everything that you have done to my children, says the Lord. I have witnessed it all. I have witnessed it, says the Lord. My, I am going to be judging you. And for those of you who, and for those who knew my who knew my word who sat under teaching 
my teaching, under teaching my te in my church, it would be better for you never to have been born. It would have been better had you never heard the gospel in your life. Than to hear it and to still do evil in my sight, says Lord. I am, I am the Lord. You don't know who you're talking to. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So I pray this word, I pray to the victims out there, I pray this word blesses you. I pray this word encourage you. Take encourage, be encouraged, my dear brothers and sister, my dear brother, my dear sister. Wherever you are, whoever you are. God sees you right where you are. He has not forgotten you. He has not abandoned you. He has not loved you. But I say to you, if you've... Just come back. Just come back to the Lord. He loves you. I love you. And God bless.